expanding binomial products. A binomial has two terms, by. So x plus 1 is a binomial. A binomial product is a product of two binomials. So we are multiplying together two terms in, oh, two expressions in brackets which have two terms each. So this is a binomial expansion or binomial product. It's actually quite a good idea to start with a diagram. So if this is x and this is 1, then that's x plus 1. And if I want to multiply that by x plus 2, that's x and that's 2. Please ignore the fact that x is apparently 2 in this example. So x times x, oh no, I. this is x, I made x that long, and that's 2, there we go. So x times x is x squared. Here I have 1 times x, 2 times x, and 1 times 2, which is 2. 2, 1x, 2x. So this is x plus 2, this is x plus 1, and x plus 2, lots of x plus 1, that way, gives us x squared plus x plus 2x plus 2. So looking at it in a diagram can be quite useful if you're not sure what's happening. Now, what happened when we got that, of course? x squared is x times x. x times x. Then, I had x times 2 and 1 times x. So I did x times x, x times 2. Then I did the second term in the first bracket, 1 times x, and 1 times 2. 1 times 2 is 2. And the two middle terms, or two of the terms in your binomial expansion, usually depending on what we've got here, will often end up as like terms. It will depend on what our terms in here are. Because 2x plus 1x is 3x, so the result is x squared plus 3x plus 2. And you'll notice we end up with three terms here. Algebraically, if I said, all right, we have a plus b multiplied by c plus d, the a has to get multiplied by both the c and the d. a times c is ac, a times d is ad, b times c, b times d. So this is an example, or the algebraic representation, of the binomial expansion. Now when they ask us to expand, we will always expand and gather like terms. There are three methods that we would usually look at. One is what I tend to call the lobster claw method. And before, when I taught you to expand, if I was just expanding 3 outside of x plus 5, I'd say draw the lines 3 times x and 3 times 5. This means just drawing the lines again. So my lobster claw method, I'm going to do x times x, and I draw a line from x to x. That's x squared, x times x x times 5, everything's positive, so that's plus 5x. 3 times x, plus 3x, and 3 times 5, plus 15, 
and gather your like terms. That's x squared plus 8x plus 15. And you can see it ends up looking like a crab or a lobster claw because we can draw in the little friendly crab here. It's one of those fiddler crabs that has one big claw and one little claw. And it's not a bad method. It's just re reminding you that you have to multiply the first term in the first bracket by everything in the second bracket and the second term in the first bracket by everything in the second bracket. Also, you don't have to draw the crab. One method that gets taught is FOIL. FOIL, first, outside, inside, last. Multiply the two first terms together. x times x is x squared. Multiply the two outside terms together. x times 7 plus 7x. Multiply the two inside terms together. Negative 4 times x minus 4x. And the two last terms, negative 4 times 7 minus 28. Gather your like terms. x squared plus 7x minus 4x will give me plus 3x minus 28. Be very careful with your negatives. Watch where they go. So that's FOIL. It's effectively the same thing. Any of them are making sure that I multiply everything in the first bracket by everything in the second bracket. Four separate multiplications. The other option you can do is actually write it as two separate smaller expansions. I want to do 2x times x minus 6. That's 2x outside of x minus 6. And then I want to do negative 1 outside of x minus 6. This is a really structured way of setting it out if you tend to forget a particular multiplication because you get a bit lazy. Because all you do now is multiply out this by expanding and this one by expanding. 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times negative 6 is minus 12x. That expansion's done. Negative 1 times x is minus 1x, or minus x. Negative 1 times negative 6 is plus 6. Then we gather our like terms. 2x squared minus 13x plus 6. So that's three different perfectly acceptable ways of multiplying everything in the first bracket by everything in the second bracket. Totally up to you which method you use. I'd try all of them a few times and work out which is best for you. You do have to show at least one line of working, write the question, give me a line of working, and the simplified like terms gathered answer if there's anything to gather. In this one, there was nothing we could gather. There were no like terms. So question and answer is fine, but you must give me that as a minimum. We'll often end up with word problems where we need a binomial expansion. Leanne keeps goats and has a 3 meter by 4 meter pen. She wants to extend each dimension by x meters. Firstly, draw a diagram. 3 meters, 1, 2, well, let's do 3 meters this way, do I have space? Okay, it's going to have to be, that's 3, that's 4, and then we're expanding by x, so just keep x the same on both sides. 4 plus x, 3 plus x. So if you draw a diagram, it can be much more clear what's happening. There's my original pen, 3 meters by 4 meters. I'm expanding by x on that side and x on that side, and I get a much bigger pen. Write an expanded expression for the area of the new pen. You start with the binomial product. The area of this pen, in fact it's area, so you can start with area equals length times width because there's a formula for area, so you use it. The length is 4 plus x. The width 
is 3 plus x and I have, sorry, and I have to multiply those together. They want an expanded expression. 4 times 3 is 12, 4 times x is plus 4x, x times 3 plus 3x, x times x plus x squared. And I ran out of space, but that equals... Now, you would normally arrange it so your x squared comes first and your x comes second and your constant without a pronumeral comes last. But it would not be incorrect if you wrote 12 plus 7x plus x squared. It's better to go in decreasing order of powers of x. x squared plus 7x plus the constant of 12. And this is area, so this is in meters squared. If you feel it's unclear whether m is a pronumeral or an e or a unit meters, you can put that all in brackets to say it's that meters squared. Do not be fooled. Dead fairy question problem here. X, M, M is not a pronumeral when they've given you X as meters. Do not write 4 plus X, M and think that that M goes in here. It doesn't. We don't ever put the units in our working unless there's a very good reason. The meters stays out. You're just dealing with x, 4 plus x. Don't put 4m plus xm and then do an expansion with 4m plus xm. It would go very badly for you. Don't do it. And what is the area she will gain? Her original pen show proper working. Area equals length times width equals 4 times 3 equals 12 meters squared. New pen. Area equals x squared plus 7x plus 12 meters squared. The difference is x squared plus 7x meters squared. Show nice working. Don't just write x squared plus 7x. I won't be happy. You've shown me how you got this.